What's up, guys? Baker here. So this is episode two of the uh, hologram breakdown thing. Left you off with uh, this environment map thing. So uh, let's go ahead and continue. Okay, so we want this environment map to be a two by one ratio. So I'm just gonna make this uh, two thousand by one thousand. Okay, and then uh, just scale this up until uh, no black is showing so that looks good let's uh, rename this to uh, tutorial environment I'm just gonna shorten it okay so back to uh, tutorial our main comp here let's bring in the environment here and turn it off we'll go to screen the element 3d layer and custom layer let's make this the environment layer Let's go to scene setup and just double check uh, what we got. So let's go to environments. Let's update it to the custom layer we just set. Hit OK. So that looks pretty cool. So it's black straight on and then kind of reflective this way. The tad to reflective. So I'm going to go down to the uh, reflection, maybe do 50%. Okay. Looks pretty good to me. And we'll hit OK. And, um,. We see our screen here, so let's go to group one, replicator, and let's make this zero, zero. So the screen should be uh, flat on the screen. So let's move this to the center. So I'm going to scoot this over right about there, a little bit up to the right. We'll go to particle look and scale this up so it kind of. Uh, fits the size of our screen it's like I need to move it to the right and up a little bit more and bigger so trial and error make sure you cover up the screen the entire time and it looks like uh, the width is okay but the uh, height is not big enough so I don't want to go too much larger I might go to 44 okay that, that looks okay but if you want to change the dimensions, go back to that screen mask custom. Let's just change our solid settings to a little bit higher, maybe 650. Okay. And uh, it looks like that changed it automatically. The mask gets larger, and so does the element layer. So here's our black screen. Uh, edges need to be a little bit fixed, so maybe a little bit down. Okay. So we can always adjust that later. But that's basically our screen. Now it's a little too um, sharp compared to the rest of the scene. So I'm just going to add a quick fast blur onto this element layer. And maybe 5 pixels. Nope, too much. Maybe 3. Nope, maybe 2. Alright, so that looks pretty good. It makes the edges a little bit better. And um, we get a nice reflection when it's tilted. So that's pretty good and um, we'll fix the thumb and everything later let's make another new solid and we will call this let's make it comp size let's call this uh, main text okay and we will uh, apply element once again and let's type in the text that we want to have so let's say uh, th let's do 3d again and I want a big font so maybe typograph pro extra bold okay so 3d looks good let's duplicate this move it down and uh, type in something else so maybe I don't know hologram that, that's a good idea cool okay so we're gonna turn these two layers off go to main text and we will go to uh, custom layers custom text 3d and hologram and we won't use the environment as a uh, custom texture because you won't really see too much reflection for this main text. So let's go to scene setup and extrude again. So here's a 3D text. Looks pretty, pretty nifty. Um, let's go to bevel. Actually, let's go to presets and the uh, custom, the default materials. I use this outside glow. So I got some black text and with blue uh, kind of 
side background glow and stuff so pretty cool I want to uh, increase the bevel a little bit so the bevel size I'm going to increase to maybe one or two but I want to decrease the expand edges maybe minus one so it doesn't get too large and then the bevel curve to zero so it's a perfect chiseled look so that text right there looks pretty good let's also bevel the back side so let's take this little box that looks good thickness looks okay um, we can adjust the colors in a bit so maybe uh, diffuse color instead of straight black maybe uh, kinda tint it with a blue in this area maybe uh, closer to light blue like that alright so that looks good for now um, what I did, what you need to check is go to uh, Point Cloud, make sure you got some nice looking points. I was kind of disappointed that uh, there's more points in the curves, but the other points, like the corners, were not uh, showing up enough. But that's okay. Turn that off. Here's our main text, and let's uh, duplicate this model. So duplicate model and on the top one let's change it to group 2 and let's change the path 1 to path 2 or to use the hologram text instead bevel is a tad too large so we can just adjust that real quick going to the uh, bevel settings so maybe bevel size maybe 1 and then expand edges maybe not so much maybe 0.5 so just adjust the bevels however you want that looks good to me I'm gonna click OK for now and we will go to uh, group one replicator and uh, let's just try to center this again so we'll go to zero zero and let's scoot this over let's find out what the center actually is so if I go to that uh, screen it's a thousand negative two hundred so let's see if that works thousand no that looks pretty good that looks right in the center no a little higher yeah negative two hundred alright so find your center that's my center and then lift this off in z space maybe negative a thousand oops and scale this up particle look Scale it up, scale it up, a little bit bigger, and then just scrub through to make sure the distance looks okay as well as the size. So there's our 3D text. Now it looks pretty solid, doesn't look very uh, hologram, holographic and stuff, but it looks okay for now. What I'm going to do is go back into scene setup, and I'm going to change the materials a little bit. So in this one, I'm going to go to, all the way down, force opacity to maybe 50 or so, and then draw back faces, check that on, so we can kind of see it's like see-through glass almost, and um, yeah, that looks pretty good. It's a little too bright, so we can adjust that somewhere, but force opacity, just play with these settings until you get something you like. Um, to and that should affect the other one as well. To adjust the uh, back brightness, I think we can go to illumination and just turn that down a little bit. So something like that. Again, play with it. Click OK, and there it is, kind of see through. Let's set this layer to add. Okay, so we're getting there. Um, let's also go to group 2 which is the second text the hologram and let's put it in the same spot so this was a thousand negative two hundred and the position was negative a thousand I think okay and um, if I turn off group 1 real quick I can see my hologram go to group 2 and adjust the size to what you want again so I'm just going to scale this up okay so we got our floating hologram text now so that looks
pretty cool. Might want to scale it up a little bit more. Let's turn the uh, group one back on. So there we go, 3D. And I'm going to animate this using the animation engine. So I'm going to start kind of in the middle of the composition here, around let's say six seconds. And we're going to go down to animation engine, enable it, and it's going to go from group one, which is 3D, to group two, which was hologram. So animation percentage, keyframe go forward about a, a second or whatever and then keyframe to 100% and if we look at this animation the uh, adaptive resolution is pretty low but it kind of uh, just switches out by scaling so that's not um, very cool so maybe we can change directional to uh, random actually I know what we gotta do we gotta enable multi-object, that's what it was. So multi-object for group one and group two. So what that'll do is change each letter instead of the entire word and animate each one individually, randomly. So we get a cool little switching animation. So that looks pretty cool. Okay. Um, make sure your element animation is um, set before we go any further because we're going to duplicate a lot of copies of this and if you want to change something you'll have to change every single one so make sure this is completely finished um, I can also rotate let's see let's rotate um, group one the 3d you can rotate it up a little bit so it's kind of kind of facing us so maybe like 30 degrees and let's do that for group two as well. So we've got a rotation, X rotation, 30 degrees. So not completely straight, but well, that's up to you. And um, that's good for now. What we're going to do is duplicate the main text, rename it to um, main text points, go to scene setup. And just kidding, click OK. We're going to go all the way down to render settings and then, uh, nope, output, composite, nope, polygon mode, point cloud. So if I solo this, you get all these little points that I showed you earlier. So they're pretty tiny. What we need to do is brighten these up. So we can uh, go back to scene setup for this particular case. In force opacity, we can bring that up a little bit so the points are a little bit brighter. We can also add a quick glow to it. Glow. Okay, and let's add a glow to the main text as well. There we go. So a little too bright, so let's increase the glow radius, maybe 50, and that looks good. So now we're getting some nice glowy hologram looking stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, let's duplicate, so we got main text, let's color cord, uh, color coordinate some stuff. So the main text, I want to make it uh, aqua, and then let's duplicate this, call this main text shine. What we're going to do is, this is tricky, let's make a new null object and call this shine source, oops, source one. I got about a minute and a half left. So let's make this 3D for now. Set this to the middle, which was a thousand, negative two hundred, zero. That's right in the middle of the screen, on the screen. So we're going to keep that there for now. What I want to do next, what do I have time for? Hmm. Interesting. I guess I'll just save it for the next tutorial. I'll get it ready. We're going to use some expressions and some cool stuff. So I'm going to stop it right there. Go ahead and like and favorite the video. Comment if you have any questions. Check me out on Facebook or Twitter. Any of that cool stuff. And um, that should be about it. 
All right, peace.